guys, welcome back to another episode of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we are in Pleasant View. We're going to be playing the Pleasant Dreamer family with Lilith Pleasant, Dirk Dreamer, and their son Miles. They live here at the trailer park um, next to Sandy Broody. I have since moved Angela and Dustin out of here, so they do not live here anymore. Um, Angela and Dustin now live over here. I put in the Sentinel apartments over here with like the more expensive district are the bigger like nicer looking houses um, but they live over here now I mean I might move this spot this apartment but I thought it kind of looked nice next to all the buildings over here but I don't know I don't know well I will see how I feel about it um, but for right now I put it right there but they live there now um, Angela and Dustin and they're two and a, two almost three children <laughs> um, it is more more spacious for them they have more room for their ch kids so they'll be fine um, I know I had people that were like oh yeah they need a house well they're kind of broke they can't afford a house so they have to live in an apartment complex so they live over there but it's got more room don't worry it's got more bedrooms um but anyway let's just play Lilith and Dirk they live here at the trailer park like I said we'll just get right into it Alrighty, here we are with the Pleasant Dreamer family. We have Lilith here with her son, Miles. She's holding on to him right here. Miles is so cute. I love him. And uh, Dirk is signing the lease to their apartment. Um, and I wanted to say right off the bat, I wanted to show you guys that um, Lilith ended up buying a dog um, when we were out at that community lot two episodes ago with Daniel. Um, they bought a dog and you guys didn't get to see it because I had to move them out and move them in. Uh, they have do adopted a dog and, uh, it's a girl and her name is Dakota. So we have Dakota over here. This is their new dog that they adopted, um, that Lilith went out and bought on her own. Dakota's looking very, uh, very thin, very skinny. <laughs> Those are some interesting genetics that we got. But, um, yeah, they have a dog. Looks like Dakota's a big dog. And Dakota is also an elder. Like, they... She just aged up into an elder. So, this dog might not be, uh, with us too long. Not too sure. But, uh, this is their, um, trailer. I've decorated it ac accordingly. Um, Miles just kind of has his own area in the corner over here, but he lives in the uh, living room area. So, um, yeah, they definitely don't have anything. They don't even have an extra bedroom. Angela, um, had more room to put the baby in their room, but they don't, and, uh, their room is a little smaller, so it's okay. We can make deal with it. Okay, so some goals for the episode. Um, Dirk, Wants to get a job. Perfect. So out of one through three, we have to roll to decide what kind of job he gets. I hope he gets business because that is more fitting to me for him to get business than any other job here. But I have to roll. It's random. Um, so we got to roll one through three first. All right. So we got a three. So he's going to be getting a job in the medicine career. Interesting for Dirk considering he... Uh, He's more of a businessman in my eyes, um, and he likes tinkering, and we do have his robotics bench, but I can't fit it anywhere in here, so we'll have to make sure that he uh, keeps up on that hobby, because maybe he might open up his own retail store in the future, but for right now, he just needs a job to get by to pay for his now newborn son, and um, mo most likely to help him get a house, um, and also, I want to have a party. I want to get married to Dirk. I want Lilith to get married to Dirk. Um, she wants to get married to him. I think that we can throw this wedding. Um, it's been so long, so my goals for this episode is to get married to Dirk, get him a job, and also change his clothes, because I don't like these travel outfits. <laughs> um, he looks kind of funny. <laughs> it's cute. But I like the outfits. They're cute, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it'll fit with him. Um, and then we also need to get a computer because Dirk needs to find a job. And another thing we need to do is we need to roll Dirk's body hair. We have a one through five here to um, roll his body hair. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And he gets set number two. So we'll do set two. Alrighty. So there's Dirk. He's pretty hairy. Let's see his arms. Look at his arms and his legs. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he looks pretty hairy. Um, but that's done. So we can get rid of the male body hair controller. Um, and I have, I think what I want to do when I have them get uh, married is I want to throw the wedding on a lot. I want to throw it at a community lot, lot, like the park. That's what I'm thinking for the wedding. Um, 
because they're not going to be able to throw it here. I mean, could be realistic. There isn't a lot of room here. Oh, I forgot about the puppy. I gotta buy stuff for Dakota. Okay, well, we gotta make sure we fit a bed. Alrighty, I've spent, like, all their money. So, I got the pet bowl and the chew toy. And then I put the, a little a little pillow here. So, hopefully Dakota uses this. Um, I had to move the lamp outside here. Because I figured the dog would probably uh, sleep better in their room. Um, but Lilith bought this lamp on her own at the furniture store as well as this, uh, stereo. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, and always, we can also take out Dirk's money from his bank account. Um, ugh, of course he's not gonna find the job that we need. Lilith still does have her job. She's starter level four. She doesn't want to do anything to get skill points or anything like that, so that she's not going to do any of that. Um, and let's see how much money that Dirk has in his bank account. Dirk has a lot more money than Dustin's had. He has $5,600 in his bank account. I'm going to leave that in there so he gains some interest, but uh, we might need to take some out for like um, for like bills and stuff. Um, but we're also going to need to go down to the clothes store, buy Dirk some new clothes, and uh, buy Dakota a collar. So I'm probably going to take him out. Um, but I'm think I'm gonna let him stay here and get accustomed to his new home. Um, this trailer is pretty cute. I mean, it's just not big enough for children. <laughs> so obviously, at the end of this round, once they get enough money, I'll probably move them out into either a another apartment or a bigger place for them. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. I don't think I want to move them in with Angela and Dustin though. Like I have another. Um, let's see here. There's this, like, condominium place over here, Kendall Ramy Park. Um, and there's one of them that has a room, actually, it has two bed, uh, two bedrooms. So hopefully, if they just have the one baby still, go away, matchmaker. Um, they can just move in there, and then Miles can have his own room. Oh, and it looks like they're gonna go casual woohoo. <laughs> Lilith's getting, getting on the bed, and there comes Dirk. Alright, well, I'll give him some privacy. There's Sandy Broody. We will not be playing Sandy next. So actually, next we'll be playing Alexander and Lucy. <laughs> we can't wait for them. Because um, they're going to get married. Um, and then have their first baby. Which is exciting because I really love them. Um, they moved into a family home across from the goth mansion. Um, I just randomly wrote... I rolled a random.org. I rolled what house they would get. I counted all the houses and I rolled it. And that's the house that they ended up getting randomly. Um, just because I couldn't pick one. <laughs> but he's got quite a bit of money. He doesn't need- they don't have a job, I don't think either of them do. And they got quite a bit of money from their fortune, so I can't wait to get in their house and uh, decorate it and see what I can make- come up with. Alright, they're done casual woohooing, it looks like. Let's go, uh, serve some, uh, lunch sandwiches. Some, uh, lunch meat sandwiches. Dirk can have a sandwich before he leaves. I think I'm gonna have him go down to the store anyway. Uh, because I wanna get Dakota a, uh, collar. Why are you barking at the sandwiches? You are a really funky looking dog, not gonna lie. <laughs> You're cute. Hey! No, don't destroy the furniture! Scold, scold! Bad puppy, bad! Bad doggy. Oh, and now they're scolding Miles for pooping in his diaper. That's not nice. Alright, Dirk, well, go change his diaper, then you can have a sandwich. First, he's gotta stop and say, Oh, Lilith, you're so hot eating that sandwich. <laughs> Before he goes over to change his baby. <laughs> I like the little pineapples on his shirt. It's so cute. Oh, Miles wants to sleep. Can we turn that off? Okay, yeah, L Dirk, we get it. You think Lilith is super hot. Can we turn that off so the baby can sleep? She wants to make a friend. Maybe we can talk to Sandy Broody. Let's go make friends with her. I find it ironic that Nash is, um... <laughs> Nash is related to the Pleasant Sisters. Because, uh, Nash is actually, um... Their uncle. <laughs> so they got Aunt Carol and Uncle Nash, and Nash is literally a toddler. This, uh, <laughs> Herb had a baby at a very old age, and, um, Sandy conceived that, that child. Wow, this family tree is looking a bit big. <laughs> I like looking at family trees like that, though. I love seeing how big they get. 
It's nice to see um, grandkids on the uh, on the board now. If Herb and, and Coral were alive, they would be great grandchildren. But Dirk wants to earn some money. Why don't you go write an article then? Just go earn some random cr random skill points, but you'll earn some money that way. I have nothing to make money with right now. Well, other than his, like, toy robot that he made, but... Maybe he'll give that to Miles. I wonder if Miles can play with it. It'd be super cute. No, Dakota's scratching the... Or biting and scratching. He's chewing up the furniture. He turned up the bed. Scold to... Scold to Dakota. Oh, no. I don't like being mean to doggies. Gain a skill point. That's good. Oh, Dakota just peed outside. Good. Now we can praise her for doing that. Good, Dakota. Good. No, we should probably work on Lilith. Um, she wants to gain his skill points. So that means we can do some jump roping. There we go. Dirk finished that and he earned $250 from doing that. Now he wants to buy a microwave, buy a stereo. Okay, you're doing all the, you know, fortune sim once. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of money for that, Dirk. And Miles will be aging up tomorrow. Hello. Oh, it's Heath McClellan. Not Heath McClellan. I don't want Heath McClellan. Hey, I found some new places to hang out downtown. You want to meet me there? Oh, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. One through two. One, one yes, two no. It's yes. No, we're going to go downtown with Heath McClellan. Oh, you better not... He he kissed Lilith, if we remember. He kissed Lilith while she was living in the flop house. She was her neighbor, and she kissed him. He kissed her, actually. And it... Ugh. I guess we'll go to... I don't know. Maybe we'll go to a, a bowling alley. I miss going to a bowling alley. <laughs> maybe we should have taken Dirk with us. But then no one would have been able to watch the baby. We could have asked Sandy to do it. Darn. I should have had... I should have brought Dirk with us. I don't want anything to happen. What if she like cheats on Dirk? I don't like this. Not and she doesn't even want to, she doesn't even want to cheat on him. It's just Heath McClellan that's like interested in her. Alright, here we are at Symbol Lane. So it looks like Randy London's here. Oh my gosh, a lot of people. Um Joe Carr, George Cox, Adriana Broody, and Heath McClellan, of course. Oh, and I got a mod, so Sims will gain skill points on, uh, community lots. So it looks like it's working. That's good, because I want my Sims to be able to gain skill points at community lots, such as, like, swimming in the pool or bowling at the bowling alley. Like, they should earn- they just- I don't know why that's not in the game, but- <laughs> I figured they should be earning skill points if they, you know, are doing it here. I'm glad that that's working. I'm actually glad. Because this will actually help her if she gets a body skill point. Oh, we're, Lilith's already done with that. View mini. Are you gonna view the... View the bowling balls? Why are you laughing at him? <laughs> Who looks at bowling balls and just starts laughing at him? Are you gonna eat someone's food? <laughs> She's stealing someone's food! <laughs> Lilith! She just yoinked that guy's food! <laughs> oh my goodness, poor Lee! <laughs> That's evil! <laughs> oh, there's Waylon Oates. I always forget Waylon's- Like, Waylon is just permanently like this now for the rest of his life. I like how all the group mates just come over here and just stare at Lilith as she's eating some dude's bowl of chili. <laughs> Oh man, not her wanting to be BFFs with Heath. She's also afraid of the death of Heath. She's he's just a very close friend, okay? I mean, nothing more. He, they only kissed one time, and it was just a kiss. <laughs> talking about babies. Like, why are you talking to her about babies, bro? Don't talk to her about babies. Lee Huffman is trying to greet Lilith right now, and he's probably just like, Hey, nice to meet you. I, uh, thanks for stealing my bowl of chili. <laughs> oh my goodness. Joe Carr and Adriana Broody over here. Adriana's flirting with Joe. Oh my god, Waylon is kissing Sarah McCarthy. Ew! Waylon, you could have picked anyone in this neighborhood to get involved with, and it was Sarah McCarthy. 
Oh, not them getting a crush on each other. Now Sarah's kissing Heath. Yo, what is going on? You know what? We need to go home. I don't want to be in this outing anymore. This is getting me uncomfortable. <laughs> this is a fun group of people. Thanks for getting us together. I'm out of here. Let me go home. It's two in the morning. Doesn't she have work? No, she doesn't. Oh, thank God she doesn't. But she does have a baby that she has to go home to. It's 2.30 in the morning, and uh, I want to keep her in a good mood. Especially if she wants to get married to Dirk at some point. Maybe we'll have their wedding on Thursday. But I want her to go home. I want her to spend time with Dirk. Um, I don't want to leave Dirk with the baby all the time. <laughs> That'd be kind of sad. She's off throwing and having parties and going out late and being at bars and going bowling and things like that with people. And he gets to stay home and take care of their son. Like, <laughs> that's not fair. I'll definitely have to bring him next time, though. Oh, can you imagine if they're just that, that kind of family? They just go out and party all the time and they just leave their kids at home. Like, bye, here's Sandy. Sandy will take care of you. <laughs> I hope they don't become that kind of parent, but we'll see. All right, well, Dirk, you can just go to bed for the night. It's nine o'clock. The baby doesn't need anything, and the dog is outside asleep on the ground, which is kind of sad because they have a pillow to sleep on. <laughs> You have a bed you can sleep on, Dakota. You don't need to be outside. All right, it is one in the morning. Dirk's taking care of Miles. Gotta give him a bottle, because he's hungry, and then we'll change his diaper. And then he's not tired, and he rerolled all of his wants, so he wants to give love to Dakota and play with Dakota, so we'll do that. He wants to be with the pup. Aww. He wants to sell him! Dark. You want to sell Dakota already? What the heck? Why? That's sad. That's his most. Oh my god, that's awful. I guess we'll lock it. <laughs> that's the most aspiration points he can get right now. Is selling the dog. Oh my god. Why? That's awful. I should probably flip a coin on that, but I'll I'll keep it locked for now. We'll keep it in mind. Oh god. We'll keep that we'll keep that in mind, but I'll roll it for later. I just need to figure out who I would sell it to. That's a that's a problem. Like who would we sell the dog to? Not his dad. His dad already has two cats. Jennifer and John have a a dog already. They have uh Tucker. Oh my god, we could sell it to- Oh, we could sell it to Angela. I know Angela wants to get a dog. They want to obtain a pet. <laughs> we could sell the dog. Lilith doesn't care. She doesn't want a pet. Oh my god, we could sell it to Angela. He's not really friends with Angela, but I know Lilith is. Lilith and Angela are pretty close now. Yeah, they're 94 out of 94. And I know maybe she, like, knows. Like, her sister's like, yeah, I wanted to get a, a pup, a dog. Oh my god, Dakota, go scold for rolling in filthy puddles. Maybe that's just how it is. Maybe Lilith knew that Angela wanted a dog or a pet. And then she bought a dog for a pet for Angela and now Dirk's like let's let's give him to Angela then maybe that was the whole story behind it I'm trying to make some light out of it okay <laughs> just let me have it <laughs> I mean it's better than thinking it's better than thinking badly about it honestly all right it is little Miles birthday today he'll be aging up into a toddler I can't wait to see him I hope he's super cute oh I hope he's super cute Lilith and Dirk have really beautiful children. Oh, the phone is ringing. Let's go answer the phone. Who is it? Is Dirk available to talk? Mm, sure, actually. We'll wake him up. He should wake up anyway. It's early. I'm so sad that he wants to sell the dog. <laughs> I think I'm gonna flip, flip a coin. Or yeah, we'll flip a coin. Heads for yes, tails for no. Oh, we got a free sample. What did we get? Wow! We got a flat screen TV. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we don't need this one anymore. <laughs> Here, let's put this in the middle. I put quarter tail tile placement on. There we go. We can put that in the middle. We have a flat screen now. There we go. We got a free TV. <laughs> what is with people? You want to go on an outing downtown? Oh, uh, one for yes, two for no. 
Ah, uh, it's yes. So we're going downtown. Oh, and I need to flip if I want to get rid of this dog or not. So one for yes, two for no. All right, well, it's a no. Ugh, I don't want to go out anywhere. Let's go to the clothing store. We can do that right now, and then we can get that out of the way. Dirk doesn't even get his breakfast that she made. That's sad. Well, at least we can uh, go down and get some clothes. And then after that, we can go to the pet store and grab a collar for Dakota for now. Can't believe that he wants to sell the dog. I'm so sad about that. We also need to find a job. We need to check the job careers for him. All right, here we are downtown with Yvette Cowdrick. Steffi Bachman, Vince Parmalee, Orlando Santowski, and Mallory Height. I am butchering probably everyone's names, but oh, well, let's buy some everyday clothes for Dirk. All right, I got him a new shirt. Well, I didn't do it. I did an outfit. So he's got a new, uh, a new like sh oh, short shirt and shorts. So okay. I'll show you when um, we change him here. So we'll change him, plan outfit every day. There we go. Now it's sort of the same like look, like it's still got um, a light blue and then shorts and then he's got sandals or flip flops on instead. So that'll work better for him. It looks a bit more casual. I'm just gonna let them hang out here. Now we're on an actual outing so this could go really good or really badly. So I guess we should work on uh, making it a little bit more fun for everyone. There's Jody Larson. He wants to ask us him on a day, dine out and slow dance, but I mean, I don't think he would be down to like cheat on Lilith. <laughs> I just got a crush. I heard a crush thing, but I didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> Who's getting crushes on people? I didn't see it. Mary Sue Pleasant's here, Jody Larson. We're having some fun, it seems like. Oh, it looks like Waylon made everyone hamburgers. That was really nice of him to do that. Let's go eat a hamburger then, since we're hungry. Uh, I'm gonna keep track of time because I don't want Dirk to miss um, his son aging up. We don't have to have a birthday party, but we're gonna have... I want him to be there to see his son age up. So it's already 2.30, so we gotta make sure that he gets home on time. Alright, well, we had a good time. It wasn't- it was just fun, it wasn't like crazy, but let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and call a taxi so we can go home. Alright, go home. We gotta hurry up because it is 5.10 and I want you to be home for your son's birthday. You might just make it in time. Not his birthday, but his age of. I mean, I guess it would be called his birthday anyway. It's his birthday, regardless. <laughs> but I want him to be there to see his son age up. Alrighty, Dirk will not be home for six hours and 30 minutes. All right, Lilith, we gotta take care of little Miles. He's got a little dirty diaper. Oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> she just, she just ripped a fart right in front of Miles. <laughs> Come on, Lilith! Come on, Lilith! Really, you had to do that right in front of your infant baby? <laughs> the little green cloud coming out of her butt right next to Miles. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That was ew. Well, I'm glad that their casual woohoo um, didn't let them get pregnant because I don't think I can handle what happened between Angela and Lil uh, Dustin happening to uh, Lilith and Dirk. <laughs> oh, Dirk is home just in time. That's great. Awesome. We need you home. Go find a job. And, um, I'm gonna throw their wedding party on Thursday. Now, if it doesn't work, I have the community party lot mod. And if it doesn't work, then I will end up not having their wedding until next time so I can get that fixed. But it should work. It should be working, so we should be able to throw the party. And I think I'm just gonna ho and ha go ahead and have it at Woodland Park. And I will just set up the stuff there for them so then they can just get married there. I mean, it won't cost them anything because they're not going to be buying anything. Um, but, well, anytime my sims just want to get married, they can have it at the park for now and or until I build them a church. Um, but they can they can also choose to have it at the park if they want, like I said. Like, they can have it anywhere if they wanted. Because technically people in the real world have their weddings anywhere. Um, looks like Dirk did not have a uh, job in the medicine. 
Nebsy. So, no job for him again. I thought she was going to come age up Miles, but she was just tucking him in. That was super cute. Oh, looks like they're going to go casual woohoo on the couch. I'll give him some privacy. Let's go check on Dakota. Since Dakota's making friends with everyone in here. Oh my god, I didn't... I didn't think about Dakota dying. Can we imagine we give... We give Dakota to Angela and Dakota just dies right away. That'd be awful. That reminds me, I have to build a pet cemetery so we can have uh, our dead pets to be put in the pet cemetery. And we need to buy a bathtub because Dakota, Dakota needs a bath and uh, our Miles will need baths when he ages into uh, a toddler. Or are you going to cancel that woohoo interaction? I think so. Because he's going to go help his son with his birthday instead. Here we go. Ooh, Miles is gonna age up. Here we go. Let's see him. Oh my goodness, he's got a lot of hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Oh, let me see him. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> look at him, he's so cute. That's adorable. Oh, read to Miles, tickle Miles, hug Miles. Oh, here, let's tickle your son then. Here, you want to read him a story? And uh, let's see what we can buy, because we're going to need to buy some stuff. All right, well, I hope he can use these. It looks like he can. Okay, great, he can. Um, we also need to take some money out so we can afford a bath, so I'm going to... Probably withdraw some stuff soon. And I'm having him read to his son though first, because I think that's cute. Lilith, can you potty train Miles, please? And then let's see if we can afford a tub here. I want to get a shower tub. Here we go. Okay, well, I had to get rid of the sink, because uh, we couldn't fit a sink in there. Which is fine, because now we can uh, um, wash Dakota. So we'll get Miles on the potty here, we'll give him a bottle. Get a uh, bottle for Miles. I shouldn't have sold the the uh, sink because then I could have just put it in our inventory and put it back when we move. But <laughs> same with the shower. But oh well, we'll have to rebuy it when we leave. All right, it looks like we're washing Dakota, so that's good. And then Miles is gonna follow Dirk around. All right, that's great. <laughs> he really likes his dad. And then Lilith, I don't know. We can just go to bed, I guess. You have work. All right, let's let's snuggle Miles because he wants to hug him. Great, there we go. Now he did everything. Now he wants to get the same jobs that he wanted to do. Yep, Dad. All right, let's take a shower and we'll go to bed as well. Everyone can pack in for the night. I just like to appreciate the fact that Dirk walks in and says, "Wow, my hot, my wife, my fiance is hot." Every time. <laughs> Soon to be wife. Alright, Lilith is up super early again. She's gonna tuck in Miles because it's uh, it's bedtime for him. Oh, the little pink pajamas. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, we'll go get her ready for the day, I guess. Oh, well, woke up Miles, so uh, he'll be up for the day. So go potty train him, I guess. And Dirk, you can go have a toaster pastry for uh, for breakfast that are in the fridge now. <laughs> it's probably a little cold. You might have to warm that up a little. Miles is doing really good already at potty training. That's good. I only did it twice. Um, we'll give him a bottle. And uh, Dirk, you'll have to go search the catalog for a job. And Lilith will be going to work soon. Wow, and like Dustin, he is not getting lucky with this job search. <laughs> I might have to build like a job center soon where he have to go down and see if he can uh, get a job there. Ew. Alrighty, Lilith is off to work for the day. Here she goes. I'm gonna let her go because uh, we need some more money. We need to start earning some more money here. And I think I'm gonna have Dirk go get some lunch. Well, more breakfast because he's still hungry. And then we're gonna teach Miles some more, some of his toddler skills. So like talking and walking. All right, so let's help him talk. He's like, no, I don't want to learn this. 
All right, we helped him talk a little bit, got his bar up a bit. We're not ready to completely teach him everything yet, so we're just gonna help him get his bar up a little bit, um, because he does need a nap soon, so. We're just putting him on the toilet for now, and then we'll put him down for a nap. And we'll go answer the phone here, after we tuck him in. It's okay, Miles, I'm coming to get it. You can take it. Is, Dil is Lilith- Hey, Dirk, is Lilith available to talk? No, he- She's at work. Go away. Leave her alone. She's mine. Uh, and Dirk wants to give love to Dakota and play with Dakota. So we'll have him do that. Oh, and Lilith is home. Are you getting bills? I don't want bills. You can go ahead and pay those. 125! Holy moly! Oh, they're gonna go casual sit on the uh, couch and do a woohoo. Maybe they won't get interrupted this time. I think the last time they got interrupted with uh, Miles aging up, but that's okay. They're gonna do it again now, so it don't matter. I wonder if she'll get pregnant. But we do have a little bit of money, and uh, tomorrow is Thursday, so we will be trying to have that wedding on that uh, at the park tomorrow. I think that'd be nice. Well, just in time, Miles is awake. Here, why don't we give Miles a bath? We got Brandy Letourneau over here just playing chess all day long. She's gaining skill points from that. We're gonna bathe him. We're gonna give him a bottle. Lilith will probably need some uh, dinner. Maybe Dirk can make some dinner. Make some spaghetti. Nothing is more romantic than making spaghetti for your significant other for supper. <laughs> Oh man, you burnt it! Now it's not not nice. Man, I was like, yeah, you could do something nice for your fiance, and then he burns the spaghetti. Oh, it's like nothing's more romantic than burnt spaghetti, I guess. <laughs> Here you go, Lilith, the plate of crunchy spaghetti. All right, Miles needs to pee, so let's uh, potty train him. We'll have Dirk do it. We need to start teaching him how to walk, too. Maybe Lilith can do that for a little while. Right, here we go. We're gonna have Lilith teach Miles to walk for a little bit. She'll get tired eventually, so we'll have to stop that. Dirk is just getting ready for bed. Alright. Um, Lilith became best friends with Miles. He's exhausted. Let's put him in his bed. We're gonna go to bed, too. Because we have a big day tomorrow. We're gonna be throwing a wedding. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, Dirk, it's time to wake up. Your son is up. You have to get up now. And then we will get a bottle for Miles. And then we'll go give love to Dakota and play with her because he wants to do that. Oh, Lilith wants to get a skill point. Here, you want to go jump rope for a bit? Are you guys excited? It's a big day for you two. I'm sure, I'm sure Lilith is. I wonder if they'll say yes. What if they say no? I don't think so, but if they do, it makes me nervous. Alright, everyone is in a good mood. I'm just gonna have Dirk wash the dog real quick. Once he's done with that, then we will head on out. Um, and we're gonna call a nanny to come babysit Miles. And I'll probably just withdraw all our money, just for now. Um, bank online withdrawal, all of his money, just in case we need it. And then we're gonna head on off to the to the park. Um, once the nanny gets here. So let's have Dirk find a job. And then we'll wait until the nanny arrives. Here she is. Karen Karen's here. Karen gassed. Okay, well we're still gonna try to find that job. Oh my gosh, we finally got it. There's an opening in the medicine career as a medical technician. Yes, we are taking it. Alright, now Let's go walk to a lot. Community lot. He wants to go to work. You're definitely gonna go to work, my friend. Don't worry. <laughs> and now we're gonna go have our wedding. Okay, here we are at Woodland Park. Now let's see if we can do this. Alright, so first, let's see. He's got a phone call, so let's see if we can throw a party. A wedding party. Oh, okay. Let's see. We're gonna invite Angela, Daniel, Mary, Sue. We can invite two people? What? We'll just do Daniel and Mary Sue, I guess. And then we'll have to teleport everyone over. So I hope I don't forget everyone. Um, and then we'll just throw the wedding, I guess, back here in this back corner if it's not too hilly. Oh, it looks like it might be a little too hilly. But we shall see. 
somewhere in the corner somewhere. Uh, I'll fit it in somewhere. We'll, we'll see. Well, I'll get it somewhere. So give me a minute here. Alrighty, we are ready. So I have summoned everyone over that is close family to the Pleasants um, and the Dirk. So we have Jennifer, John, you know, Aunt Jennifer and Uncle John, Angela, who is Lola's sister, Carol, who is um, also um, Angela and Lilith's like, aunt. So I figured she could come. Um, we have Darren and Cassandra. Uh, they are also related to Dirk. Um, Darren being his father and Cassandra being his stepmom. So <laughs> figured that Cassandra could come. And then of course we have Dustin over here. She, uh, he is already here. He already came to the lot. So he's over here talking to Tasha Go. So he'll be here. And then of course the pleasant uh, Mary Sue and Daniel should be here any minute. Um, and I set up the, um, the arch back here in the back corner next to the like food area so that we can eat cake and have you know be fine over here but i think this is a cute little area that we can get married in in the back right in the back left corner of the lot i just need mary sue and daniel to come lilith wants to have a party but i feel like their party they already are having a party so <laughs> okay community lot party things working great we're doing great so now it's just time to get married. Now I hope I had Lilith do it because she's the one who wanted to get married. So we have Wanda here, Leo. Oh, never mind. They're taking forever. Get married. This might be. This might take forever to get everyone over here. Here we go. Ibsen. Oh, they think they're saying yes. Yeah, they are. They're for Tava. <laughs> Yay! They got married! I'm so happy! We're gonna choose the sim and the icon for the last name for the couple. So now we have Lilith Dreamer and Dirk Dreamer. They are now married. So, yay! They're married! I'm so happy for them. They're so cute. Um, we need you to uh, have some cake. She wants to gain a skill point, so I'm locking that in versus uh, going on vacation. I don't think they can really go on a vacation. They don't really have a lot of money. Maybe they will in the future. <laughs> Whoops, I hit the wrong button. I hit the uh, control one on accident, so there was a <laughs> computer boop. Can I take my cake with me? I can't. That's sad. That's sad. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to eat some cake if you want, and if you if you don't want it, then I guess it's gonna get cleaned up. Did everyone leave? Everyone left my party. Hmm. Having a good time. I don't see anybody anymore. I don't even see Mary Sue or Daniel. I think everyone just left. Everyone came for the like the the ceremony, and then they were like, "We're out. We're out of here." <laughs> All right, we're just gonna let this uh let it play out. These two are gonna play chess, I guess. We're gonna let it play out um, until it's done, and then once the party's over, we will clean up the cake, sell the table, and then head out. But uh, the guests aren't even here. It kind of sucks. Oh god, this is Charlatan's here. You better stay away from my Sims, unsavory Charlatan. Oh, he's he's stealing money from Comey Tellerman. <laughs> no, Comey Tellerman. Teeny Broody's here and everyone's swooning over here right now. We had a roof razor. Oh, Dork, it looks like you're gaining fame now. Really? Great. Let's go clean up this cake. We need to go home now. We're tired. Perfect. Oh, Carol's walking by. Carol, how dare you? You left our wedding. <laughs> I'm so glad that they were able to get married, though. I'm so happy for them. I'm so glad that that mod worked, because I was really hoping that it would work. I'm glad that they also said yes to each other. I didn't want them running off at the altar. That would be a way to break off their uh, relationship. They'll be home later at night. They'll be able to go to bed. They'll be able to get be ready for their jobs tomorrow. Um, we also will probably have to uh, have Lilith call and schedule the nanny to come regularly so then Miles can um, not be left home alone. Or we could ask um, Sandy or someone to watch the kid, uh, watch Miles, but I think it'll be fine. They can afford to have a nanny watch the baby. 
Miles is doing great so far with his skills. He's got one logic and three creativity. That's pretty good. Ow, ow, ow. Oh man, Marissa, Bendette, and Karen are fighting. Karen, why do you gotta be such a witch? Karen is not a nice sim. She's mean to like everyone every time, I swear. Oh, and the lovely couple are now home. That's great. That's good. Derek, why don't you just go to bed for now? How's our son? He needs to be potty trained. Alright, let's go potty train him, Lilith, after you're done using the bathroom. Oh, she just potty trained him. Good job. That's great. So now we got that done. We're gonna call the nanny and hire full service. No. Um, and it is the last day of the round, so now that they have a good amount of money, I think I will actually, like I said, I will move them into a bigger condominium, and they now both have jobs, so I think they can sustain and be able to pay their bills and stuff like that, so I will move out them out of the trailer park, they will be able to sustain themselves in a nicer home, a nicer condominium, we'll move them into that, and Miles can have his own bedroom, <laughs> because I want the baby to have his own bedroom. Miles will not be aging up this round. He was born quite later in the round um, last time we played Lilith. Um, so Miles won't be aging up until next round on day one of fall, it looks like. Um, because he comes a toddler or a child in two days. So He's quite younger compared to uh, Leslie. Miles is getting down with the xylophone. He's getting really good at it. I love toddlers in this game. They're so lively and so cute. My favorite toy when they play on is the xylophone. Okay, Dirk has work in an hour, so let's get up and get you ready so you don't stink. Go use the toilet and pee and uh, take a uh, shower. Oh, and Lilith is up too. Alright, well then let's take care of Miles. Let's give him a bottle. It looks like... It looks like Dirk has changed his mind about selling Dakota. He likes- he wants to be the master of Dakota. So because of that, I'm going to unlock the sell Dakota want, um, in the end. <laughs> so we're not going to end up getting rid of Dakota. Because now that he, I guess, has warmed up to Dakota, he now thinks that he wants to keep Dakota. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say now that they've had Dakota and warmed up to her, I don't think that they want to get rid of her anymore. Um, they all have wants to want to play with her and give love to her. Um, even Dirk wants to be the master of Dakota, so now I'm gonna get, like I said, get rid of this sell Dakota want, because that just makes no sense. Dirk, you have work. You need to hurry up with that shower. Your carpool's outside right now. And here he goes, off to his first day of work. Bye, Dirk. Yeah, you better run. You're kind of late. <laughs> All right, and Lilith will be heading off to work right now, too. Yeah, her carpool's here. So she'll be going off to work, too. So I'll see you guys when they come back. All right, Dirk is home. We just got 250 or 350. No, 280. Oh, answer the phone, please. Who is it? Oh, never mind. He hung up. Oh, he wants to get a promotion. Well, you got to work harder. Um, you didn't get it this time, but maybe next time. Oh, is Miles. Miles, he needs to learn some more toddler skills, so we'll work on that with him. Here, let's put him down for a nap. Lilith is home. She earned 441. Let's go pay our bills. And uh, we're gonna work on jumping rope so she can get a body skill point here, because um, she wants to get a skill point. So we're gonna do that. Miles is taking a nap now. We're gonna clean up the house, recycle this. Clean up all the garbage. Yeah, I feel kind of bad about the whole Dakota thing. So now we're gonna have to go get her a collar. Cause now, now that they want to be devoted to her, I think Dirk is just gonna order it off the internet. I think he doesn't care. To, he wants to go out anywhere. I think he just wants to hang out at home. We're gonna get it off the internet. We're gonna pretend that he bought it off of the internet because there's so many shopping th places online that he can get it from. So. Normally, I would like to just go down and grab it from the store, but I feel like, um, I feel like he, we can just stay home this time. They've been out a while, a while, a lot, actually. And I really would just be going down there and then turning around and coming back, so what's the point in doing all that and going through all the loading screens if I'm just gonna go there, grab a collar, and come back right away? <laughs> Miles should be waking up soon, so we can teach him how to walk and talk. Lilith is still working on this this uh, body skill point. Miles will be growing up in a day. Alright, Miles is awake, so let's teach him how to walk, Dirk. There we go, Lilith got the uh, 
Got her body skill point. Now she wants to reach body level 7. Alright, that seems fair enough. And then we can teach Miles how to talk after Dirk finishes this. Come on. Yay, we taught Miles how to walk. Yay. Alright, now let's go teach him to talk. Dakota, let's praise her for peeing outside. And then let's give her some love. Good puppy. All right, let's get this collar on her. I almost forgot about it. Just get him a little cheap wall mirror here. There we go. Now Dakota is officially part of the family. By chance, random.org said, no, we can't get rid of the dog, even though Dirk kind of wanted to do it. But now he wants to be the master of Dakota, so now it's 8,000. So that kind of overrules the 2,500 from the Dakota selling her. So that's okay. And now we just taught Miles how to uh, talk. So Miles is completely ready with his toddler, toddler skills. So he, uh, he'll be ready to age up next time on day one. And uh, these two are going to relax, looks like. I wonder if that means um, they're going to try for a baby. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> I love it. Open <laughs> the toddlers to snuggle up with the dogs and the cats. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, that little smile. That little smile he has on his face when he hugs her. Oh. Are these two trying for a baby? Oh my god, they are. They're trying for a baby. They're trying for their second baby. <laughs> Brush? Who? Brandy? Who? With Benjamin? <laughs> What's happening over here? Marissa, Brandy, and Benjamin are outside. They're getting crushed on each other? Was it Brandy? Well, I wonder if Lilith will be pregnant the next time we play them because they just tried for a baby. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. I hope so. I would like them to have another child. It totally is Benjamin Long and Brandy Letourneau. The Benjamin and Brandy are flirting with each other over here. Brand well, Benjamin's flirting with Brandy. Letourneau. Oh my god. <laughs> Towny drama. Towny stories. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna woo out on the bench! Hello? <laughs> I guess I'll roll it? I mean, that's technically how I play. If they got pregnant, then we could play Benjamin Long and Brandy Letourneau, but okay, I guess I'll roll for it. Okay, no baby. It's 70. So they're safe for now, so they're not added into the rotation. But I mean, if you guys want to see them added in sooner anyway, I can do that. I cannot believe that they just woohooed outside on the bench in front of Benjamin's house. They're literally neighbors, and they decided to woohoo right there. Instead of going in their own homes, they woohooed right in front of the house right there. And Marissa was there to witness the entire time. Miles is having fun playing shapes. He now has four creativity and two logic skills, so he's not too in, in interested in his bunny, but that's okay. He can build whatever he wants. Whatever will help for when he ages up and whenever he wants to go to college, if he even wants to. We'll find out. Alright, Miles is waking everyone up because he's super tired. I'm so sorry, Miles. And uh, now that it is the end of the round, um, in about, you know... A minute here um i will be moving them out into a bigger condominium like i said so we can have room for miles having his own bedroom when he ages up into a child um there definitely i don't think will be room for another baby but we will figure it out but um i'm just going ahead with the plan that they thought that they will only have one kid yet um they weren't too sure about having the second baby so it kind of just was on a whim, like, hey, let's try for a baby at the end here. <laughs> um, so we don't know if it'll work or not. But they can definitely, I think, fit two children in this small, in this house, um, until they decide to get a house. Which I'm hoping they will be able to at the end of the fall round. Same thing with Angela and Dustin. I want them to be able to buy an actual house at the end of the fall round. Um, I don't want them to living in an apartment forever. Um, I do want my sims being able to have their own, like, homes. Um, unless the, uh, 
The Pleasants want to give the, the house up to one of the girls, otherwise they will be selling it and uh, giving the money. I think they'll just share the money between the kids, like, hey, we sold the house, here's some money, do whatever you please with it. So either way, um, we'll fi I'll figure out what I want to do in the future. I think I want to go with selling the house, but... The Pleasant House is so iconic. I don't know why you wouldn't want a Pleasant family living in there. Like, one of the girls. So I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided on it yet. Still have plenty of time to figure that out. Mary Sue and Daniel aren't dying anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, it is now the end of the round. So I want to thank you all for subscribing and liking and commenting. Um, It really, really helps me out. And uh, I can't wait to keep doing this in the future and I hope to maybe do this full time in the future but I mean we still have ways to go um we're still a young channel we're still building up our community um but thank you guys for being patient with me as always and um if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe there will be plenty more in the future to come in the next episode we will be playing Alexander Goth and Lucy Burr um, they are engaged. They will have to get married, like, right away. And they will be having their first baby. Uh, Lucy is carrying their first child. They both didn't go to college. They both just decided to age up. And they both just decided to just woohoo right then and there. Um, but they own a house. They have, they've had money from the goth fortune. And maybe Dina will give Alexander more money because I feel like she should be indebted to getting, giving Alex some money of that, you know, cause it was her, you know, his father. Um, so we'll see. Um, she might be generous enough to share, but she is a uh, kind of a money hog. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.